Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Deepika from Informatica GCS team. And in this video, we'll be discussing about mapping level variables and parameters. The agenda of this video is to understand need for variables and parameters and their definition, then how to configure these on mapping level. So what is the need of variables and parameters? These are nothing but a stored information, which means a value. It could be of any data type that can be utilized by an object like mapping, workflow, session, etc. during the execution. So instead of creating multiple objects for same use case, just because of the changes in only few attributes, we can go with this variable and parameter concept. And this is how we can increase the flexibility reusing an object and reduce creating multiple similar objects. And it could be predefined or user defined based on our requirement. Mapping parameters. Basically, parameters are nothing but a hard coded value, which means a constant that we need to set before executing the session and that cannot be changed during the execution. Unlike parameter, variables are a dynamic value and can be changed throughout the session run. The integration service will save the latest value of the mapping variable to the repository, I mean in the metadata level at the end of each successful session run and the latest value will be used in the next session run. So coming to configuration, there are a couple of steps. One is declaration and initialization. Declaration is nothing but simply specifying the name of the variable and parameter. If you select the corresponding mapping from the designer tool, you can see this parameter and variable option under the mapping drop down. So once you click it, this dialog box will be displayed. So here you can declare the variable or a parameter. First, you need to provide the name, then select the type, either variable or parameter, then data type, followed by precision and scale and aggregation type. This option will be enabled only if you select the type as variable. And in mapping variable, we have only three aggregations, maximum, minimum and count. And the final column, if you enable this is expression variable as true, then the data type should be string or the integration service will fail the session. And the initialization, how to provide the values for the created uh, variable or a parameter. There are so many approaches. Let's say if you didn't set the value in any of the below options, then it will pick the default value based on the data type. For example, 0 for integer empty string for string and 1st January 1753 for a date or you can use initial option. So you can configure this in the same tab where you have declared the parameter or variable. Then persistent variable. So if the session is executed few times before, then the latest value will be stored in the metadata as I already mentioned in the previous slides. So you can see this persistent variable under the session edits like this. Then pre-session variable assignment or from the parameter file. So you can set either local or global scope. And so this is the order of precedence. It will follow the exact sequence from the bottom to the top. For example, you have set the values in two places. One is initial value option and another one is in the parameter file. Then it will obviously consider the value from the parameter file because it is there in the top of the hierarchy. You can use this tax to specify the parameter or variable along with its scope in the parameter file. So there are four methods where you can dynamically change the value of the variables. First one is set variable. It will not compare the incoming input value with the persistent value in the metadata. It will directly pass the incoming value. Well, set minimum and maximum variable will do some comparison with the persistent values. Set maximum variable will compare the incoming values with the persistent value and it will pick the higher of these two values. Similarly, set minimum variable will look for the lower value and set count variable. It is like a counter method. It will increase the variable by one for row insertion and decrease it by one in case of deletion. And for just updating the row, it will keep the current values as it is. And at the end of each successful run, as I already mentioned, the values will be updated in the repository metadata. I have also attached the product documentation for your reference. 
we would like to hear from you please provide feedback by visiting support videos at informatica.com or you can write us on the given twitter handle thanks for watching this video